What if you could do social media automation for free without having to learn a new system, without having to use a third party solution and in a very easy way? If this interests you, keep watching until the end of the video and I'll show you how you can do this inside of Meta. Editor, play the intro. What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, bringing another content for you. And today's a little bit different because I'll show you how you can create meta automations for free. And that's why I'm sharing my screen with you guys. And you know that I don't waste anybody's time. So all I want you to do is to go to business.facebook.com. When you go to that page and you're not logged in yet, you're going to see something that looks like this. And after you log in, you will see a screen similar to this one I have for you right here. After you are logged in, you're going to click on inbox on your left hand side. But first, make sure that you are using the correct pages that you want to. So you need to select the page that you would like to create the automations for. In this case, I've chosen my page magnetic funnels. So I have chosen right here. And then I'm going to click on inbox. And here on the left side, you can choose based on all the pages that you have access to. And then after you open the screen like this, you're going to click on the automations button located on the right upper corner of your screen. And here is where we're going to start creating this automation. This is the screen where we create automations. Here at the bottom part, you can see the current automations I have in this profile. Uh, you can see that some of them are turned off, some of them are turned on. R right here, you can see the status of each one of them. And here at the top, you can see the types of automation we can create. So we can create an instant reply. We can identify and answer messages, maybe to create a follow up or even add a label. And we can easily find that contact in the inbox panel here in Meta. We can send contact information, hours, location. We can create an automation based on comments, but people need to specify hashtag. We're going to go there very soon. And we also have automations for custom keywords that people can send over DMs. Facebook or Instagram. And we are going to create two automations here that will help you sell more because by doing this, you'll be able to share a link with several people without having to doing that manually. One of the things that I do in my profile is every time I post something on the stories, every time I create a reel or a post, I always want people to comment on a specific word if they're interested. That way I'm always capturing leads even though I'm not actively there sending messages to them. So I always ask them, please comment the word I want, comment the word discount. You always ask people to comment something and you will make your job a lot easier. It will make your life easier. Imagine just being able to create any type of content, like just creating a story and telling people, hey, if you would like more information about this, just comment the word X, just comment the word I want. And I'll send it right now in your DMs. So you can do that with comments and you can do that with DMs. And that's what we're going to do it now. We're going to click on create automation. Here you can see all the types of automations we can create. But here I'm going to do right by you. We're going to click on start from scratch. And here we are able to start our automation. So this right here is simply my favorite part. It doesn't matter if it's meta automations. Every time I'm doing automation, I'm having fun. And right in the screen is where we're going to define what this automation will be. I already know that I want every time someone sends me the word I want, I will send them a link. It could be a link of a promotion. It could be a product page. It could be any type of link. It could be a discount code. It could be anything. So you will adjust this based on what makes sense for your business. But the first thing we need to do here is to put a name on this automation. Every time you create an automation, you need to name it in a way that's easy for you to identify. So I'm going to put received message with word I want. Then we're going to choose the channels that we want this automation to be active in. I'm going to choose Messenger and Instagram. And now we're going to choose when this is going to happen. Every time you create an automation, there is a trigger and there's an action. The trigger is what what is going to initiate this automation and the action is what after that first thing happens, what you want to happen after that. So for example, someone sent you the message, I want, I want to send the link of my product page, right? Trigger is receiving that message. The action is sending the message. I hope this makes sense. So we have three triggers here that Meta made available for us. 
message is assigned. That means that whenever you assign that message to one of your colleagues in the, your meta business suite, and you also have the new message received. Based on this option here, it's pretty clear that we want is the new message received. And now we need to specify a condition because we don't want to send a promotion link for every single message that comes across in our DM, right? We don't want to send this to everyone. We want people to send the word I want. That's the signal that we have that this person is interested in what we have to offer. So here we create a condition and we can specify several conditions. Look at these options based on location, based on the context gender, based on labels, message status, if it's assigned or not, message activity, keywords, business information, and even availability, DOA status right here. We already know that our condition is based on keywords, right? We want people to send the word I want. So I have entered the word I want here, the expression, right? And I'm going to put in all, I've done in all caps. I'm going to do all lowercase as well. So here we already have the first part of this automation build. And now it's the second part, which is the action. For the action, we have three options as well. We have send message, add labels, or mark as. When you click on mark as, we have all these options. Mark as red, mark as unread, mark as follow up, or even move to spam. But what we really want to do is to send send message, right? If I want to add a label later, there's no problem. I can do that. But the main goal here is to share the link so you can sell to these people. So here we're going to say, hello, thanks for your interest. Check the link below so you can grab your discount. And here you add the link of your page of your website, whatever you sell, your discount code, whatever you want to share with people, you're going to put in this message. So now we have an automation that every time someone sends the word I want either to DMs of Facebook or Instagram, we will share that link. And I'm going to refresh the screen right here just to make sure that our automation is here. Yeah, it's right here receive message with where I want, right? Now we're going to create one more automation because we're going to test in the end of this video. And now we're going to create one more automation because we're going to test at the end. And we're going to create this automation for comments on Facebook. And now we're going to create this automation based on comments. So we're going to click on create automation, but we're going to do something different here. We cannot click on start from scratch. We need to click on comment to message. And then we're going to click on edit automation. If you already have an automation in place, that's how it's going to show up. But you can uh, add more automations here. You can add up to four hashtags here. So you can specify automated responses based on those hashtags. But the main limitations here is this will only work on Facebook and it will only work with hashtags. So if you're not working with hashtags, there's no way that you can automate a comment. I already have an automation here. You can see that it's active. It's running on Messenger, the only channel we can run this automation on Facebook. And we already have a hashtag here. We're not going to touch this automation. We're going to create a new one. First, we create an automation based on the keyword sent via DM, I want. And now we're going to do based on the hashtag. In here, on the second hashtag, I can specify the content of that message. So, hello, thanks for joining Magnetic Funnels. Here is your coupon code for your 50% off. In here, I can add a button, sign up now. I can specify what's the link. There you go. And I can add a media too. If I wanted to add a video or an image, just like this one, I can do that as well. See, very easy. We have here two automations based on comments. One with the hashtag with this Portuguese word, eu quero, right? It doesn't matter. And the other one is with the hashtag I want, and we will have both of these working simultaneously. And now we're going to click on save changes because it's time to test this out. Now we are finally ready to test this out. We're going to start with the DM from Facebook. We're going to send the word I want here, all caps. Let's see, right there. We have received the link, worked fine. Let's try now on Instagram. I'm gonna send the word I want. Let's see if this is going to work. It did not work. And there's one limitation I have found. I was creating this video in Portuguese and I've noticed that I need to recreate the automation just for Instagram in order for this to work. So here we are, I was able to make it work, but I've noticed there's something odd on Instagram. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it doesn't work well with links. So I've had, I have removed the link here and I was able to, to make it work. 
So I'm going to add the link again. I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to redo the test. I'm going to send the word I want. Let's see if that will work. See, it just didn't work. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to remove the link. Remove the link. Save changes. I'm going to go back here. I want. You see, it's just very odd. Yeah, I have given up. So in this video, we found out that this is not very trustworthy. It's not stable, but we can at least try the comment automation let me comment here hashtag i want and i should receive an, an inbox here and it worked i have received the message with the link with the image on facebook worked every single time but on instagram there is this instability it doesn't work all the time so if you want something that's more trustworthy than meta I have something to show you. This is Magnetic Funnels. This is my favorite software. I have all my clients here. This is a CRM based on high level. You know that I have been talking about high level for so long here in this channel. And I have my own white label of high level that you can get it for a reduced price. If you use my link in the description of this link, if you use the link in the description of this video here, you're able to do all sorts of automations, including the ones that I've just showed you. Look at here. We have there's automations for procedures. So we have Lumeca automation for Facebook. Every time someone comments the word Lumeca, we reply to their comment. We like their comment and then we send the message with the booking link. The same logic that we have applied during this tutorial, we are doing here. But here we have a lot more power. We have a lot more flexibility. We can do a lot more in high level or in magnetic funnels. And we've seen the automation for Facebook and the same we have for Instagram. We are able to do this Instagram in a seamless way without all this nonsense of having to recreate this automation, remove the link. We are able to do this with no problem whatsoever. If you are interested on in signing magnetic funnels, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. And before we end this video, I'm going to leave two recommendations for you. One of them is four ways you can integrate WhatsApp with high level. And the other one is everything about snapshots. This video will really help you understand how people are scaling using high level. That's it, guys. Thank you. See you on the next one.